Next, we're going to look at Drive by Incubus. Now, Drive is a song that uses four chords. And so we just need to learn four shapes and how we're going to strum them. With our first shape, we're going to be playing the open sixth string. And our middle finger is going to go on the seventh fret of the fifth string. My first finger will go on the fifth fret of the fourth string. And my pinky is going to grab the eighth fret of the second string. It's okay if I hit the open first string as well. Now, the way I play these chords is that they're kind of expanding. We start with the first note, maybe the first two notes, and we build it until we're playing the full chord. For example, I'll play the sixth string, the first two, and then maybe jump into all four. And you'll notice I hit that full chord three times. So one, two, full chord three times. For my next chord, I'm going to play it just twice. And it's actually really simple. I've got my third and pinky on the seventh fret of the second and third string. I'll hit the open third string and then everything. So I've got this building chord. And then that chord twice. Now the strumming pattern is the same for the second half, for the last two chords. But the chords are different. I've got my first finger on the third fret of the fifth string, my ring finger on the fifth fret, or I could also use my pinky, and then my middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string. My next two strings will be open. And again, I'm going to build this chord. So I'll hit maybe the first, the second, and then the full chord. So all together, I've got my first chord building it up. Second chord twice my new chord building it up. And my last chord is an A7. So the easiest way to play this chord is to play an A, a regular A chord, and take my middle finger off. So I've just opened up the third string. So in the end, I've got the second fret on the fourth string pressed down and the second fret on the second string. So all together, building, hit twice, building, hit twice. 